Hi, I'm Perry Sessions from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to turn on the front end editor of your Visual Composer for your bridge theme. First thing you're going to want to do, like always, is log into your WordPress website. You'll be taken to your dashboard, and then you actually want to scroll down to the appearance options and head over to editor. Um, this is where we can edit the code of our um, themes. So we're going to go ahead and select in this top right area the bridge instead of bridge child theme so we're now editing the um, actual theme rather than the child theme and you can scroll down or I just use command F to quickly find VC stands for visual composer so that's about a uh, third of the way down uh, extend-vc.php file so they're extending some features of that plugin and again there's a lot of code in here so instead of looking through it all I'm just going to do command F and type in front end and there's their comment right here this removes the front end editor so before I remove it this is what the website looks like right now you can only edit Visual Composer if I open that in a new tab you can only edit the back end using Visual Composer so the button will show up here when it loads and I'll show you what that looks like so I can switch between classic mode and the back end mode of Visual Composer but I cannot get the front end to work because they've turned it off so what you do to get rid of it, make sure you get rid of the curly bracket at the bottom and the top. Just delete it and then update your file. Um, just a full disclosure, their um, bridge theme does, um, their support does say that there's, they've removed this obviously on purpose because there are areas that they've found um, it to create a little bit of issues. We've removed it on a few and we have not seen anything tremendously um, annoying or, or broken so it's um, it depends on what your preference is but we have a lot of individuals who just want to quickly make a change to text or images this is a great way to do it so I've removed it saved it I'm refreshing this page and now if we've done it correctly if it's working uh, we should see a new option next to edit page to edit the front end of the page give it a second here to load Apologize. Okay, there it is. Edit with Visual Composer. So now instead of just editing the back end, we can click this button and get some more options. So the front end of Visual Composer doesn't allow you to change things like the template. A lot of times you're working with a full width template you need to change. It's a little bit tougher to uh, maneuver to the rows and columns um, but again it's best used for just adding, adding a little bit of text, deleting text, maybe changing an image around very quickly and sometimes that's all people want to do is keep things up to date and um, so this is all updated this is a slider so this is a lot of bridge themes have this you can't edit it um, on the front end you have to scroll down here to this particular roll, row of content has actual text and rows and images icons this is where we can make our edits um, you can hit the plus buttons to add more text or delete text you can even copy the text duplicate it and so forth make sure it says that we've done it clone we can edit it now we want to update our changes or else they won't be applied so um, but yeah this is just a quick tutorial on how to activate that front end editor for your bridge theme. We hope it's helpful for you and we hope to see you on future videos. Thanks so much for watching.